Hey y'all, uh, I get a lot of requests for Jeep projects and uh, most of the work that I've done on my old CJ was before uh, I think anything was being put on YouTube uh, and I had how-to videos and so on and so forth. So uh, every chance I get or every chance I think about it uh, and I'm doing something, I try to stop and uh, just share with y'all. And that's what's happening this morning. I'd already started on it and got about a, I don't know, I got in it a ways and realized, stop, back up, let's share this with some people. Here's what we're doing. Uh, I've been wanting to put a new uh, uh, CB antenna bracket on this, this thing for a while. And I've been mulling over different ideas and things I could do and everything was just either too complicated or just, you know, just just didn't sit right with me. So I decided just to back up, go back to an old tried and true. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add our mount to the spare tire bump stop. Now I believe there's kits you can get where you can actually bolt a top and a bottom to this thing and the, the antenna will mount uh, in there. Well, not wanting to do that. So what I've done, because of course I've already started, I've taken the mount off and I got me a piece of uh, bar stock that's a uh, eighth inch thick. And what I've done is I've cut it to fit the top of this and I've just kind of contoured a little aesthetic contour so it will fit inside here. I'm going to weld it on. Get it all nice and cleaned up, put a hole in it for our antenna, and bolt it back up. So that's all there is to it. So now uh, I will go ahead and drill my hole uh, in the top for uh, our antenna mount, and then uh, I will proceed to get this cleaned up so it will accept this for a weld. And uh, Welding is not my thing. I can do it, but if you looked in the dictionary or uh, on a list for worst welders in America, I'm probably on that list somewhere. Uh, but anyway, we're going, it'll be welded and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it mounted up. This is where I, uh, when I'm all finished with a welding project, I thank goodness that there are such things as grinders. Let's proceed. Okay, we got them all cleaned up. Got our hole drilled out of the blast cabinet. So we're gonna weld it up. And that's what we're gonna have. While we're at it, or while you might be at it, go ahead and take these out, get them cleaned up and repainted, cleaned up as well, because it'd hate for you to go through all this work, make this nice thing and put some old nasty bolts back in there. Okay, now we'll see if we can't get this thing tacked down. Okay, let the grinding begin. Okay, <laughs> after much sanding and grinding due to uh, my lack of welding skills, we have our antenna mount. Now we'll go test fit it and then we'll get it cleaned up again for coating. Got to make sure by heating things up, we didn't bend anything out of proportion. We shouldn't have what we we're doing. Bottom's fine. Okay, there we go. Let's get it cleaned up and coated. Let's not forget we're going to do these too. All right. Then when we get all finished, we coat. And I'm using Cerakote, because it's something that I do. 
and we're going to use black velvet. Now, for those of y'all who may Cerakote and look, yes, this is a uh, cheap, I think a $25 spray gun. And for what I'm doing here, it, it's fine. Uh, you can do a good job with these if you know what you're doing. But of course, I've got the trusty Awada. I prefer this for my uh, good work, detailed work. And uh, I just leave it clean. This right here doesn't matter so much. So let's get spraying. Well, there it is, installed. And that Cerakote lets you see all the little imperfections. And pay no attention to these right here. It's still gonna do a good job for us. Well, there you have it. As uh, soon as my fire stick gets in, I'll have this thing mounted up. I'm gonna run my uh, antenna wire down and underneath so I won't be drilling any holes. I bind it to the frame on up and come up and I'll be set. Um, so it's a nice little addition to a simple little piece on the, on the Jeep and it's not all that hard to do. Um, again, if you've got grinders, you can get this done. But um, as usual, I appreciate y'all stopping by and uh, I hope you found this little project uh, useful in some way. And as usual, good luck with your projects.